Hi, this is Rick Deutsch, also known as Mr. Half Dome. Half Dome is the signature landmark of Yosemite National Park. And I've hiked up that thing close to 40 times. One thing I know is the importance of water. I drink actually seven quarts on my hikes up to Half Dome. It takes about 12 hours round trip. But whether you're hiking, backpacking, you know the importance of treated water. Three quarters of the planet is water. However, humans can only drink one third of 1% of that water. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, most of it's salt water. So we can't drink salt water. The other is most water on the planet is contaminated with protozoa, bacteria, viruses, and a whole host of other things that are not good for you. If you drink directly from the stream, what you're gonna find is in about seven to 10 days, you might get diarrhea. And if it's not treated, it really isn't good. So let's talk about how do we treat water. There's four different ways. You can boil the water. That's gonna take a very long time. If you're backpacking, that's not too bad of an idea. Another way is iodine pills. Well, iodine actually is not that good for the body. It's great for emergencies. And in most waters in the US, two of the biggest problems we have are Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Iodine will take care of Giardia, but not Cryptosporidium. The third way to treat water is a mechanical water filter. But the fourth way is with ultraviolet light. Now, ultraviolet light is used in hospitals to treat the, the uh, operating equipment that they use. Before we go in and show you a demonstration in our creek right here, I want to tell you a little bit about the company that makes a great product. It's called the SteriPen. This is their latest product. It's the SteriPen Ultra. It's got some really great features I'm going to tell you about. It's made by the Hydro Photon Company. They're located in Blue Hill, Maine, which is just a short drive from Acadia National Park. SteriPen received the gold seal of certification from the Water Quality Association. So it's definitely a good product. Now what the SteriPen and ultraviolet light does, it inhibits the DNA of any of these contaminants in the water to reproduce. And that's what makes you sick. So it might take you know, a week or two until you're really feeling the effects. But ultraviolet light will stop that for you. So now I'm gonna show you how it works. First of all, let me describe the actual product here. It's got a protective cover that we take off before we use it. And you see a probe right here. When we put this in our untreated water, it's gonna put out the ultraviolet light that we're talking about. Now it's very small. It weighs about eight ounces. It's about seven inches long, not quite two inches high, and not quite an inch uh, thick. In the back of it, you can see a mini USB connector. That's because it's got a lithium ion battery inside of it permanently, and so you don't need to carry extra batteries. So you charge this up before you leave home, either with your AC current, your uh, computer USB, or you can even use a solar charger. There's many on the market, so if you're on a multi-day trip, you just set up your solar charger, plug it into the SteriPen, and you're good to go. Now, how many uses do you think you can get out of this? You can actually get 50 applications or treatments out of the SteriPen Ultra. And how long is it going to last? Well, the actual uh, ultraviolet light generator is going to last a very, very long time. In fact, you can get up to 8,000 uses, which is more than most of us are ever going to go hiking. Okay, so that's the actual product itself. Let me show you how it works. So what we're going to do, there's two ways that I've found to use the product. One is to take your one quart, one liter bottle, or about the same, take it down on the stream and fill it up directly. Again, we want to use still water because we want the sediment to have settled. You fill it up and you take a handkerchief or a neckerchief and wipe the threads dry as you can. And then you put the steri pen in it as such and hold it for the required 90 seconds on a one liter bottle and you pull it out. It's only 48 seconds on a half a liter. Then you can drink it directly. Another way to use the product, to protect those threads, what I'm gonna recommend is a device. It's a pre-filtering system. So the first thing we do with an empty bottle is go ahead and screw it in. Okay, get it nice and tight. And then we're gonna put in the macro filter. Macro filter has a screen in it to keep the larger particles and sediment out goes down to 40 microns. So that's gonna stop a lot of stuff right away. 
So we're going to put it in. And the next step, we're going to go down to our stream and fill up the bottle. And it's going to take a little while, so I just want to show you how we get it started. So come on down here to our stream. Okay, so you put the whole bottle in, and you can see bubbles coming out. And that means water is going in. So this is going to take a little while, and we'll see you right back when we've got a full bottle. Okay, our bottle is now full of water, and once again, it's contaminated, so we're not going to drink it directly. The big stuff came through our, and was stopped by our pre-filter. So what we do next, take the pre-filter out, put it in a secure place so you don't lose it for the next application. Next, we take our SteriPen, and it's set up that if you click it once, it's going to treat one liter, one quart. For a half, you're going to click it again, and it will tell you, click it twice, and right on the display, it's going to tell you for a half liter how long you need to do it. And it's 48 seconds for a half a liter. We put it in, just like this, get it secure, and I'm going to turn on the SteriPen. The SteriPen is now telling me one liter, and it's counting down from 90, 90 seconds. And you can see the ultraviolet light coming out. So I'll turn it over, maybe you can see that a little bit better. So when the ultraviolet light is working, you know that it's treating the water. And the next step is to agitate the bottle. Shake it around because we don't want those very, very small particles hiding behind some sediment. So viruses particularly are extremely small. Okay, so we're shaking it up. My display is showing that it's working and we're getting 58 seconds. Okay, so now while this is working, I wanna point out another great advantage to the SteriPen. If you're doing international travel to third world countries, and you're really unsure of the water that you're going to get off the street in a bottle, a great idea is to take your SteriPen. Take it, take the lid off, and go ahead and put the SteriPen in it, and you can treat it the same way we're treating it here. So that's a great idea. And we're down to 29 seconds. The SteriPen's available in most outfitters, and it costs a little bit less than $100. So it's well worth it, and you're going to get a lot of use out of this. And again, I want to reiterate how small this is. It won't take up much room in your pack, and if you're backpacking, you know that weight is precious. And we got eight seconds more to go. The light is continuing to glow. I'm shaking it up really good here. And one second, and you see it turned off. So we've completed the whole 90-second cycle. Next thing is I take the SteriPen out, and I'm going to remove our protective pre-filter and now you can trust that the water is purified. It's good water now. So your next backpacking trip, hiking trip, you may want to even try Half Dome. You can use your SteriPen on any hike. So once again, look for the SteriPen Ultra at Outfitters, retailers, and we'll see you next time.